welcome to Spomedians. We're the channel where sports meets comedy. Live from New York is Comedian Fig. Hey, Fig. Yeah, yeah. I want to shoot, baby. <laughs> and live from do. LA is Mark Howard. Hey, Mark. You would do salt and pepper, man. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. All right. All right. All right. And live from Atlanta, we have comedian J.J. Williamson, HBO Jeff, Def Jam, BET Comic View, Bad Boys of Comedy in the house. J.J. Williamson is here with us tonight. Funny, uh, funny, funny. Funny, funny, okay. funny. Funny, funny. How y'all doing? You good? We doing, we doing good, good down there. How about you? I'm doing well, doing well. Let's get right to it. Mark, we're going to Wait a minute, down there. Where are you from? You ain't say where I'm you from. Down there, right, coming to you live from Cincinnati. Ohio. 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 Here we go, y'all. Let's do it. All right. So, Mark, we're going to start with your Cowboys, right? Yeah. yeah. So, as training camp begins, their star running back, Ezekiel Elliott, he's on a holdout. All right. So, Ezekiel wants a new extension as he has two years left on his rookie contract. So, after his first and through his third years, Elliott has established himself to many to be the best running back in the NFL, or at least the best option for defense for the Cowboys who have big expectations for this coming season. So the tricky part for the Cowboys is they have their quarterback, Dak Prescott, who's on his last year of his rookie deal, and Amari Cooper, who was traded uh, in that first uh, round pick on his last year as well. So is Ezekiel being fair to the team by holding out to become the highest paid running back? What are your thoughts, Mark? He being fair to himself because he down there in Cabo San Lucas kicking it right now while everybody else taking hits and heat mm. over there in Oxnard, California. They out here, in, they out here in, in Cali where they train at. But man, we got good problems, Fig. We got good problems. We got too many people. We gotta pay. You know what I'm saying? We got too many. We ain't gonna trade our players to Cleveland or something like that. Oh my bad, your team did that. But anyway, <laughs> you, know, you know what? Um, Zeke. Zeke is not being fair to the Cowboys, and he shouldn't be in a sense. And he shouldn't be in a sense because he has to be greedy. He's a running back, and he has the lowest shelf life. Um, he knows his value to the team. And the only thing is that, yeah, you know, he's got two years on a rookie deal. Dak Prescott, the only reason why they came in together, the only reason why Dak Prescott is up now because he was a fourth-round pick, so he didn't get that big of a deal. So now his year is up now. But – He's got to try to fight for it, so he's got to be hard on the Cowboys. They're going to wait him out. We're going to be all right, man. He ain't got to take too many licks. He'll be ready to go. Zeke left, Zeke right, Zeke get him to do it again. We're going to play action, and we're going to whip up on the Giants. I know that's right. All right. What do you think, Fig? Listen, I am not a Dallas Cowboy fan. Good. But I am for players getting their money. Yeah. Now, Zeke is a running back. Now, what they're trying to do is make that boy do four to 500 carries per season, wait him out, let him run out his rookie contract, put him on, you know, on, on hold, hold him over, you know what I mean, and not pay the man. If he don't get paid now, then when? If they let him run for another seven years, they let him run seven years, then by the time he's done with his seven years, they going to cut him because, like Mark said, running backs have the shortest shelf life. I don't think he's being unfair to the team because if he don't get paid now, he ain't never going to get paid. And I feel like this. If he ain't that good and he ain't worth the money, cut him. Cut him. Why are you holding on to the man? Either you going to pay him or let him go. Why should you hold on to him Talk about he need to give us a discount? What kind of discount? Pay the man. Uh, hey, 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 I got, I'm looking on my side. I got breaking news. I got breaking news. They just reached an agreement with Zeke Elliott, man. Yes. They, all right, I'm just kidding. I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> you just wish it. You just wish it and hoping and praying. I just want to, I just want to see the look on your face. Nah, you know, uh, right. they got to pay him, and, but yet the players, you know, I mean, hey, they stuck by Zeke through his trouble. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Right. Either way, we got good. We got good problems. We got good problems. Let's go on to our feature. Uh, hey Nicole. Hey Nicole. 
Hey, so to the NBA, where Russell Westbrook was officially announced as a Houston Rocket after he was traded for Chris Paul. In the press conference, he was asked about uh, not always handling the ball, being that James Harden is a ball handler as well. So Westbrook has been criticized heavily for his decision making and often called selfish. Um, he replied, and I quote, James and I have been friends for a long time. I can play off the ball. I can do other things to impact the team, to help us win a championship. Uh, end quote. Do you think that's possible? Um, how do you see this working out for the Rockets this season? Fig, what do you think? You know what? I think both of these guys are hell of a players. Russell, Russell, Russell Westbrook, James Harden. I think if Russell is really wanting to win a championship and he could play off the ball, that would be great. My question is, what is Dan Tony going to do? Because the offense that they run is Harden dribbles the ball, he gets in the lane, and he kicks it out to open shooters. In the last couple of seasons, Russell Westbrook three-point percentage is not that great. So I'm wondering, is he – he's not the – to me, he's not the type of player that you want hanging around the three-point line and then kick it to him as an open shooter. Russell Westbrook is good when he's slashing, he's cutting, he's getting to the basket. If he could change his game up ever so slightly, have Harden, you know, maybe share the ball with him a little bit more and have Dan Tony maybe change up the system ever so slightly to incorporate West Russell Westbrook's style of play, I think they can make some noise in the West. That's what I think. I'm not too sure what they're going to do, but I think they can. Hopefully they can for the sake of Houston. Wait, thank you. You know, Fig, I, I give you kudos because um, is that meant my sound there? I'm hearing those. You can You guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you good. Fig, I give you kudos, man. That was that that was actually sound analysis on Westbrook. Only one thing that was off about that is that it ain't been the last couple of years. He ain't never had no jump shot as far as Russell Westbrook's. Are. He never had no three point shot. He throws up a few, and see James Harden can go inside, outside, stuff like that. Now. It's funny because they do go back and been out here in L.A. I watched high school ball. Russell Westbrook was low key. Wasn't recruited much. A story about him and stuff like that. It came on. Now, James Harden in high school. Oh, I seen him in high school. That boy was a beast. <laughs> that boy was a beast in high school. Him and uh, another kid named Malik Story, I know a little better. They were beasts. And James Harden's been that top player for a long time. He could have gone to UCLA. He went to Arizona State, which is not known for top basketball and carried him. So James Harden's always been that kind of player. Russell Westbrook has been a late bloomer. He really was an off guard before at UCLA. He was not a point guard. He's been playing that point guard with his size, but he still has a scorer's mentality. So all this, I'm playing off the ball. Okay, he's lying. He can't play off the ball. He needs the ball in his hands. It's going to be a problem. It's going to be a problem. It ain't going to be no problem with uh, Antony. And I call him Antony because there's no D in uh, Mike. Uh, and it should never be no D because he ain't about no defense. So okay. it's Mike Antony. And no, that it's going to be a problem. It's going to be a problem. Watch. Well, we, sh we shall see that problem. Uh, hey, listen, we've got company. Oh. What kind of company we got? We've got company. We have comedian J.J. Williamson come to us live from Atlanta, HBO Def Jam, BET Comic View, Bad Boys of Comedy. J.J. Williamson, hey. Well, I, I can't have no company. <laughs> hey, man, it's, 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 it's What's up, JJ? <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, man? JJ killed me. Now, all of a sudden, he Williamson with a Duke shirt on. He always been comedian JJ. All of a sudden, now he wanted to claim his last name. Cause that yes, I'm the pappy. He's a dookie. <laughs> a dookie in the building. A dookie in the building. Man. Oh, I've, been, man, I've, I've been with Duke since 86, so it's not about Zion. So oh, but it's just, he's just having right. to go there. We, oh, yeah. man, I've been there since D Johnny Dawkins. So, oh, oh, not Johnny. Johnny. <laughs> hey, Johnny. Hey, 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 and the funniest thing I'll tell you, I know Johnny, we used to hoop together in the same courts. Real talk. Here fig. we go. Real talk, Fig. Sligo. I go Creek JJ, Park. You listen to Mark. He hooped with Johnny. Oh, he yeah. used to box with Ali. <laughs> no, I, I, we... <laughs> I didn't do that. But Johnny, my man, and I tried my best to talk him out of going to Duke. 
Oh, man. You see, that didn't work. He bought Tom Landry his first hat. That's true. That's true. That's how I became a Cowboys fan. He said, buy me his hat. That's right. it. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, Skip, how's it going? Hey, 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 who are your three favorite teams, man? My three, sport any, sport, any favorite, sport or just my, my favorite teams? Of course, well, you know, Duke, hands down. I'm blue eyed. I, I, I love them Atlanta Falcons. Uh oh. Uh-oh. And you know, my alma mater, HBCU, Alcorn State University. HBCU. Alcorn. Alcorn, not Alcorn. Alcorn. You can't not just know Alcorn. <laughs> no, no, no. It ain't just Alcorn. It's Alcorn. <laughs> well, hey, HBCU's in the house. I'm, I'm a Langston Lion. So, yes. That's what's up, baby. Are you really? Yes, yes, sir. Mark Clay, I tell you, Mark Claim everything. He was with hey, Harriet hey. Tugman in the Underground Railroad. That's what. <laughs> hey, 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 close enough, Fig. Uh, Thomas Hollywood Henderson came from Lake uh, Langston. <laughs> you sure did. You hey, sure JJ. Did. Yes. Hey, JJ, you went to school with the late uh, and great Steve McNair. Um, Absolutely. You, mm. yeah, could you tell us about your experiences with him as a person, you know, and well, watching him play? What was that like for you? Man, that was one of the best experiences of my life, um, you know, because I'm, I'm, I'm from Mississippi myself, man, and just seeing that man play before the world even knew who he was was one of the one of the best things that you know you could just always flash back and just remember some of the great moments he did on that field, man. I mean, he was he was he was our God on on campus. He really was. He was truly our God on campus, man. Um, like I say, before the world even knew uh, who he was, that man was packing our stadiums. That that I mean, folks was sitting on the scoreboard to see this man play. Wow! You know, they, they was holding the night lights just to get into the stadium. Man. I mean, the man. I mean, you. The game was at one o'clock, and I'm not exaggerating. If you wasn't in that stadium by ten thirty, you wasn't getting in. wasn't getting in. Man. You wasn't getting in, dude. I mean, it was an amazing experience to watch him play, man. Uh, a bad a bad game back then for McNair. If he threw under. 400 yards, that's a bad game. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I mean, we'll cuss him out like, man, you ain't do nothing today. You ain't throw for 420 and five. <laughs> <touchdowns. laughs> <I'm sitting laughs> <out> somewhere. <laughs> that, I mean, wow. that's how, how, how impactful that man was at Alcorn, man. Of course, you know, he brought a lot of revenue to the school. Yeah. Um, a lot of, um, um, you know, people that, I mean, that, that you never thought of hit the campus, you know, like, Spike Lee came to see that man play on campus one day. Mm. You know, Charlie Ward at the time was the quarterback at the Florida State, man. He came to see that man play. He wanted to know who is this man that's throwing more yards in a season than he was. Yeah. Charlie. So that's just how, how powerful that man was on campus, man. I mean, like I said, he was he was like Prince of King. Right. You know, whatever you like. Yeah. Mark, Charlie Ward was a point guard for the New York Knicks in the 90s. Yes, yes. I just wanted to throw that yeah, out yes, there. Yes, that, that was a low light in his life. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> you know, it, it is funny because I noticed being from Mississippi, Mississippi Black College has some players. I'll tell you. Yeah, speaking, we have players. Speaking of Langston, my old school, before I got there was a guy. That Ain't was nobody a speaking of Langston oh, with hold you. On, hold on, hold on, hold on, Fig. Funny story because the guy, the guy was a very good athlete. He was a DB. Played against we played against Mississippi Valley State against Jerry Rice. Yes. Oh, oh. Jerry, look, Jerry Rice scored five touchdowns on him and made him quit playing football. Oh. Okay. He look. He told he told me the story. JJ. He said as soon as he was coming out of his stance, the ball was in the air and the announcer was yelling. The announcer was saying while the ball was in the air, touchdown, Jerry Rice. <laughs> hey, I remember those days, man. You know, again, I'm from Mississippi, so I saw yes, Jerry Rice do Legend. those type of things, man. I mean, like you said, when the back, out, ball in the air, you know, people be in the stands and just we don't get hit. <laughs> That's it. That's it. We, wow. What's going to happen? Jerry we Rice. Know for this happen. Jerry Rice, Walter, Walter Payton, Payton you know, from Mississippi Valley uh, State. Mississippi, I mean, Mississippi uh, Jackson, Jackson State. State. So mm -hmm. yeah, man, you know, Mississippi definitely produced some some top players in the league. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, man. Wow. Okay. Oh, I'm a cool. city boy. I ain't get to see none of them. I just seen some of the ball players, you know, in the Mecca. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. New York City. Yeah, some yeah. of the basketball players. I ain't get to see none of the football players. 
out there in Mississippi and stuff hey, like man, that. But, you, but it's you good to hear some, about them. We saw some cold ones, though, coming out of there, New there's York. There's some great ones coming out of New York, no yeah, doubt definitely. about that. Yeah, can't never <laughs> doubt New York basketball, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Except, for the Except for the Knicks, though. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, trust me, the Knicks gonna get us together. They gonna get together. <laughs> you, see? No, you might not be here, but they gonna get together. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you see, look, you see, I may not get there with you, but as a team, the Knicks will get to the promised land. <laughs> <laughs> he, got, he got he got that he got that new team logo behind him, uh JJ Bricks, the New York Bricks. <laughs> we want to we wanted to ask you something okay okay so carmelo anthony former nba all-star usa basketball great he was oh. by his trainer um chris brinkley he says Melo just wants more wants one more year to say farewell you know like they did for Dwayne wade and dirk um Novitsky, um how they got last year does he deserve a farewell tour in your mind? You know what, Melo put some work in over the over the years in basketball. Man, he was a great scorer. You know, he didn't play too much defense, but he was he was he was uh, one of the great scorers at you know in that time and everything. Man, you know, I don't, I won't mind seeing him having one more year of uh, playing basketball. If he can't play, just sit and stand behind the bench. You know, hold a clipboard. You will put your name on the on the on the big screen, man. Just wave. <laughs> Jeff White. <laughs> Jeff White. Hey, you know, hey. just could just go out there and shoot a half time and see if you can make it from half. Hey, 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 JJ. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> As Lala, he already had his farewell tour. <laughs> Yo, yes, he oh, Lala, Lala, got it. <laughs> Daniel says, oh. you get one. All right. Yeah, and then Mark, below the belt, G. Hey, 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 no, have mercy. Now I don't need no farewell tour. The Knicks need a farewell tour. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking that. The, the no. Knicks need the Knicks need to be in the in the big three. <laughs> the whole playing, team playing five people. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> That's you all right. Ever, you ever talk about them Knicks, man? Uh, I can take it. I've been taking it for years. I can take it. I can take it. Oh I've been a Knicks fan die hard. There you, you go. Hey, be you used to it, Mark. Mark. <laughs> hey, hey, Fig, don't give up on them, baby. I'm never giving up on my team. <laughs> That's why it's fun to mess with you. <laughs> yes, it is. You know, JJ, Mark, Mark swear he played AAU basketball. He didn't really play AAU basketball. When he, he tried to go in the game, the coach said, Hey, hey, you, get back on the bench. <laughs> Good comeback, Fig. <laughs> Good comeback. That's right. Okay, so okay, we're going to talk a little bit about the Trailblazers, the Portland Trailblazers. Uh, JJ, I don't want to see what you think about this. Now, they're they're uh, point guards, um, both uh, Damian Lillard and CJ CJ McCollum. So they got those huge extensions. Those uh, three years, one hundred oh, million dollars uh, for CJ and uh, one hundred ninety-six million dollars supermax contract extension for mm -hmm. Damian. Um, should this be the going rate, you know, for a point guard? Hey man, you know if you can get that paper, I can't be mad at them for getting that paper. Man. <laughs> Go on, get that paper. Hey, I, I, I'm almost 50. I'm going to see if I can get me a 10-day contract. <laughs> <laughs> you got past that physical. <laughs> yeah, I got past that physical. I got my son outside right now. You better come on and work on your left hand, baby. You oh, need this. <laughs> hey, but they, this, this year right here, they really they, they, they went crazy this year, though. Uh -huh. Everybody got some paper this year from, from McCollin to Lillard. Uh, uh, who else got a crazy contract? Kyrie, you Kyrie. know, Durant. I mean, Lord, they're giving up that money. Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson got Clay a stupid yeah. contract. D'Angelo like, was Man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they gave that money away. So, yeah, this was a great year for NBA. Yeah. Yes, it is. 
Yeah, they, they're making them enough money. I mean, pretty much it's the it's the show is between Lillard and McCollum, so there ain't nobody else to pay on that team but them two. So they might as well give them the money. Yeah, might as well. Yeah, ain't nobody. You even to get a uh, 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 Aminu. No, honey. No, no, yeah. I think a beat. I think a yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 hey Daryl Ann, but you know, CJ McCollum is an Ohio boy, so you'd be yeah. happy for him. I'm you, you, I'm you, you, you realize? Do you realize he was five ten coming out of, uh, uh, his junior year in high school? In high school. Yeah. He was five ten. And, uh, <laughs> so, so now he's six three. Eight is where it is then, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on, late bloom. It, it must be. It must be that good cooking they got down there. In Ohio, and, uh, yeah. Uh, date, yeah, Dayton. I think he's from Dayton or something like that. He's from Dayton. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. With all that money, he's gonna be doing a lot of dating. <laughs> yes. yes, he will. Yes, he will. Oh man. Hey, so JJ, what do you have coming up? What's coming up for you? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But staying busy on this road, um, I'm in second on Michigan on on Saturday with nephew Tommy and uh, my man Martina Harris, and then I'm going. To, I'm finna go entertain the troops over in Tokyo, Japan next week. Oh, oh nice, man. yeah, yeah, with my man Daniel Dugar. I know y'all know Dugar. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Dugar, Dugar man. man, you know he has the contracts over there overseas, man. Yes, so yes. I'm finna go over there entertain the troops, man. Get the troops' minds off things for a while, man. Let yeah. them know we appreciate what we what they're doing for us, so we can live the way we live. And you know, just get their minds off things for a while, man. I know it's a tr tr you know real stressful time. With this crazy president where we got, you know, we never know what's gonna go on in this world. So, you know, you know, I know they over there planning and, and plotting on their next move. So we're gonna bring some entertainment over there and try to get, you know, get their minds off things, man. Bring some laughter over there, man. I mean, you know, it's it's for our, our home, our American troops over there, man. So I'm looking forward to it going over there, and make them laugh, man, and just show our appreciation for what they're doing for us. Yeah, that's, that's a that's, long that's, flight, man. How long is that flight, JJ? About three, four uh, days? No, I, I think mm. about, about 12 hours. Yeah. Ooh, long. No, no if, if you're flying from LA, it's 14 hours. It's going to be about. Oh, well, yeah, well, hours. it's yeah. 14. Good. It's really good. Is, it, is, this your first, is this your first time going over there? To Tokyo, it is. Yeah, I've been okay. to Seoul, Korea twice. Okay. And so okay. this will be my first time in Tokyo, man. So I'm really looking forward to the experience. Okay, yeah, it's a couple more hours to Japan and Tokyo. I've done the Tokyo and Okinawa and stuff like that. Oh, really? Okay, yeah, yeah. man. Mm -hmm. so you gotta, you gotta give me the, the where, where I need to go now. I know you know. <laughs> listen here, uh, JJ. Why don't you listen to Mark? Mark ain't been nowhere but in his living room with the Discovery Channel. Hey, hey, hey! Don't, 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 don't make, don't make me pull out my passport right now. Hey. It, it's full. It's cool, it's cool. Baby. man. Don't you hold that up, man. You on the you on the net, man. You holding your passport. Somebody, three or four people had the same thing. It says convicted. So Jay, uh, man, we want to thank you for coming. We want to thank hey, man. Th hey, thank y'all for having me, man. Y'all got a great thing going, man. I'm I'm a fan. I'm for the tune in more, and I'm for the spread the word, man. Let's blow this thing up, baby. I need All to right. get back on here. I uh, appreciate you coming on, man, and safe travels out there, man, in Japan, man. I know the, the, the troops are going to be glad to see you because you's a funny boy, man. man Thank you, man. man Things man. been great, man. It's Just truly good, man. You know, we old school, man. You know, we grind together in the trenches a lot, you, you and Mark, man. So it's it's great yes. to be on online with y'all, man. You know, y'all keep doing your thing, man, and I hope to see y'all soon, man. Definitely, man. Hey, man. Hey man, other than that shirt, it was great to see you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a Mar I'm a Maryland Terp, and I can't. Oh, we, yeah. we, we hate Duke by nature. Them Dukies. <laughs> All right, y'all. Because we live in this world, you ready for this? Yes. yes. All right. Because we live in this world, the big news of rapper ASAP Rocky, who was arrested in Stockholm, Sweden, in June. Um, he's still being held there, along with three others, um, awaiting uh, trial. So the celebrities and fans have been calling for them to release the rap star and even Kanye West got his friend POTUS, Donald Trump, to use his influence um, and had uh, he started tweeting about his request for ASCP Rocking's release. Is this sincere or is it just for optics? What do you think, Mark? Something. Did I miss, are we good? Yeah, uh, yeah, I see. Yeah, okay. What do you think? Is it just for optics or is he sincere? 
Oh, uh, no. Nah, you know, what's a damn tweet? If a tweet can get you out of jail, you know how many brothers would be out of jail right now? You know what I'm saying? Come on now. You know, for for ASAP Rocky, he's in, he's in a little bit of a problem right now. ASAP is in a little bit of a problem because I even read something about it. It's like the prime minister can set laws, but he can't ask the lawmakers to, to do pardons. It, it could cost him his job, uh, his position. Yes. Yeah, so they're going with the due process. So I think that what um, I really don't I really don't like calling this person by his name. Uh, and, but the name I call him, I can't say on the show. Okay. I'm just going to say the fool in the White House. Well, um, <clears throat> doing all that all, all that tweeting is just just basically trying to showboat and say, oh, well, I'm trying to do what I can. I help black people, which he ain't been for anyway. And, and I'm not I'm not buying it. Okay. I'm not buying. I wish I wish I had Rocky some some love and and and, and the others because he's not the only one that got locked up. There's three other Americans that are in on this. So. We don't know totally what happened, but um, man, just, look, if you ain't learned nothing from Leandro Ball, man, don't get in trouble overseas. Yeah. They don't have the same kind of laws with that stuff, man. Yeah. Just, just... All right, Fig, what do you think? Listen, first off, I, I, I have to be a little ignorant here. I'm not quite sure who ASAP Rocky is. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I, thought, uh, I thought Sylvester Stallone had got locked up. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. And what did he do? I don't know what he did. It, it did was somebody a fight. tell me it what the boy locked up for? It, it was it was a fight or something like that. Yeah. They supposedly they supposedly attacked and jumped somebody there locally in Sweden. Oh my in, god! In, in yeah. Stockholm, Sweden. He met people in a foreign country. Yeah. And mm-hmm. now he's locked up and, and want to know if uh if uh Kanye West could could get him out. I think um uh, I think Kim Can't. got a better chance of getting Rocky <laughs> out because uh. Uh, mm-hmm. Trump seems to like when Kim come to the White House and ask him to do stuff, and then he be doing the stuff that Kim asked him to do. So, wow. if I was in trouble overseas, I'd put in the call to Kim Kardashian and ask her to go to White House and ask Donald Trump to see if he could do something. But I don't know what Kanye could do because he'd be wearing that um I don't, I don't know them them uh them sack dress- bag them stuff dress- that that. Uh, Let's get to the headliner. Guys, we got one minute on this headliner. All right, so you guys are giving your picks for the NFL season starts. So we're going straight to the NFC West Division. Who's got it? Seattle Seahawks, San Francisco, 49ers, Los Angeles Rams, or Arizona Cardinals? Who do you you think is going to win it big? Uh, You know what? I think the the San Francisco 49ers are going to be interesting. I'd like to see what they do when their quarterback finally comes back. I like Seattle and and what they could do, but uh, if Gurley comes back a uh, hundred percent healthy, I gotta go with the Rams. They uh, they were just too good last year. I got to go with the Rams. What do you think, Mark? I'm picking Seattle. I'm picking Seattle on this one. Um, I think the Rams did all they could do by getting all the free agents to make them front loaded, and they made a nice run. Uh, McVay was good as an offensive guy, and they weren't ready for him. But I think they got they got film on what he's going to do as far as the offense. I think Jared Goff has probably reached his peak, okay. uh, and um, I think Seattle is definitely renewed. And uh, I think they're going to take it. It's going to be close, but I think Seattle's going to take it. I think they're overall better team. Better Seattle. You yeah. heard it here first on Sports Medians. Mark Howard picked Seattle. The Seattle Seahawks. Seattle Seahawks. Final word. That's it. Final word. All right. That's it, guys. That's all the time we've got. That's it? That's already? It. <laughs> That's it already. Uh, we want to thank our guest, uh, J.J. Williamson, for coming out. J.J. Yeah, yeah. Join right. us on Wednesday nights at 6 p.m. Pacific time, 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard. Like us on Facebook, at Spomedians. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Hit subscribe on the YouTube channel, at Spomedians. And we're the Spomedians, where sports meets Comedy. Yes. <laughs> Big New York. Uh, Mark Howard. Los Angeles. Jama. Boya. Sports media. Sports media. You want to get it in. Sports media. Sports media. Sports media. You want to get it in. Sports media.